How to get tag Goku and Freezer in Dragon Ball Legends? The easy way. As the headlining unit of Dragon Ball Legends 5th anniversary, this is a unit that is in extremely high demand. So first, I need to add a bit of context. There was this guy who watched Dragon Ball Super before Dragon Ball Z. So when he saw Goku and Freezer work together, he wasn't as hyped until he actually went back and watched Dragon Ball Z. And then he cried tears of joy when this unit came out in Legends. So I'm gonna tell my friend Bruce's dramatic story to add context to the deal. And guys, be sure to share your 5th anniversary stories with me in the comments as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe or else the universe will be erased. Now let's tell Bruce's story. This is Bruce. Bruce has no friends. He is a spoiled brat. His first ever anime was Dragon Ball Super. He claims it's the greatest anime in all of history. His favorite character is Champa. Until he saw the ending though. He thought Goku helping Frieza was random and lame. That was until I found him. I guided Bruce with my all-powerful wisdom and made him watch Dragon Ball Z. When he saw Goku and Frieza fight on Namek, he was shocked. It all made sense now. Legends decided to release an LF tag Goku and Frieza from the Tournament of Power and Bruce couldn't stop crying like a bitch. But he was unlucky. Furious, he decided that he was going to destroy the entire planet like his role model Frieza until he foresaw a prophecy on how to get any unit that he wants in Legends. And he used this to get Tag, Goku, and Frieza. <sighs> you know guys, let me tell you something. These stories might be a joke to you, but to me, it's real emotion. This is what you call passion and dedication. So I'm going to share the secret methods that Bruce used to get Tag Goku and Freezer in Dragon Ball Legends and none of them involve having friends. I mean, grinding endlessly. Method 1 is money. Here comes the money. money, money, money. <laughs> Method 2 Get a Tag Team Partner. Since Goku and Frieza are a tag unit, to practice, I'm gonna need you to go get some official tag experience. Now, I'm not saying that you must go use another tag unit and practice with them because some people watching this might not have them. No, I simply mean, okay, you know WWE wrestling. I want you to go train there for like five years and become a pro wrestler and find a tag team partner and learn what it's like to fight as a tag team so that you will become a tag magnet and that will give you go freezer method three learn your colors unlike most tag units in the game go freezer is blue and purple that might actually be really confusing to some because I know it only took me until like grade 12 to learn what reverse green and reverse blue and reverse purple were. So imagine the sheer brain explosion that you will experience when using a tag unit that is blue and purple. To prepare for this, I'm gonna need you to go back to school or to go to school. Maybe even on weekends if you really need it. And I want you to go learn your colors. Study the color wheel so that you won't get lost and once you grasp the concept of colors, Go Freezer will simply fall into your lap, just like that. Method 4 Make peace with your enemies. This one is one of the more wholesome ones that I've ever done. But what I need you to do here is to get rid of all the hate and the bitterness that you have for your enemies and just let it go. Don't hold on to your hatred and don't let it control you. If you do this, you will save the entire multiverse just like Goku and Frieza did in Dragon Ball Super and they will come to you in Dragon Ball 
Legends. Method 5 is a bit unorthodox, but it requires a lot of discipline, so just bear with me here. Method 5 is to wait. I'm not saying that you should wait for part 2 or part 3 of the anniversary first, or anything like that, because that might be just a bit too much. But what I want you to do is to wait about 3 years or so where Legends will give you a free guaranteed LL ticket and then you can spend the ticket and you will pull them easily and freely. Or you can just go and destroy the planet instead. I don't know.